All right, sixth grade, welcome to Monday of the second week. We are doing 13.5 today. Remember, you're going to do your warm ups as well. Um, it should be on your second sheet for Monday. Okay, um, we're we're getting towards the end of the chapter. By the end of the week, we'll have all of our math assignments finished. Um, so we're almost to where we're going to start reviewing a couple of things, making sure we understand um, what the different numbers mean. Now, today, this is what we did yesterday, so let's get rid of some of this stuff. Um, today, you're going you're gonna to have to find the mean, the median, and the mode. And then you're going to have to decide which one makes the most sense in the situation that you're in. So remember, mean is your average. So if I have 4, 5, 6, and 2, you're going to add your numbers together. Um, 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 6 is 15, 2 more makes 17. Then you're going to divide by the amount of data points you have. I have 4 in this case. So 17 divided by 4 is going to be 4.25. Okay, that's my mean. Median is the middle number. So if I have 4, 5, 6, 2, first thing I do to find my median is I put them in order from smallest to biggest, 2, 4, 5, 6. Let's add one more 7 just so we have an odd number. Uh, and seven, okay? Then I find the, the number in the middle, which in this case would be five. Um, if I have two numbers that are in the middle, I just go to the middle of both of those numbers, okay? Mode, of course, is the number that um, occurs the most often. I think MO and I think most. That's how I remember that one. In this case, four, five, six, two, all the numbers occur one time, so the mode, all of them would be the mode. But if I had, let's say I had two twos, a four, five, six, and two, then my mode would be two because it happened twice, the others happened once. So sometimes you may want to use the mean because you want, you want an average of everything. Uh, um, or maybe you want the mode because you want the one that is most likely going to happen. Or maybe you're just thinking, I just want a number that is in the middle of all of them. So when you read your um, questions on your assignment, I want you to think through and decide which one you feel would be best for the situation that you have. That's going to be one, two, three. On four, you're going to have to do a little bit with range and interquartile range. Hopefully you're familiar with that. We did that yesterday. If you need to go back and watch the video, you can. Okay? Um, that's all I have today. So have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.